Welcome to the second video in CADPOINT's Residential House Design Series. In this video we will be looking at how Revit generates 3D visuals from 2D plans for very little if any extra work. This is due to the program's use of bi-directional associativity and parametric change technology. In our previous video, one of the last things we created was this stair here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to show you that this not only created this stair in 2D in the ground and the first floor plans, but also made a 3D component. And if we move into our ground floor plan, I'm just going to select the stair and the railings here. I'm going to move into our 3D view, and I'm going to isolate the category. Now what that does, it isolates the stairs and the railings there and it shows that we got our 3D model when we created our stairs in 2D. We can just shade that in if we like as well to show the materials we've got there. I'm going to reset our temporary hide isolates. I'm going to move back into our hidden line view for our concept model. I'm just going to move into our top view. I'm going to select everything there. I'm going to shift select this wall. And that's unselected that. I'm just going to mirror my selection along the center point of this wall. And I've turned a detached house into a semi detached house. Again, move into our 3D view. If I just put the shadows on here, we can see our house is starting to take form. Turn shadows off. And now for the first time, move into our eaves plan. The last thing to create, obviously, is our roof. So I'm going to create a roof by footprint. I'm going to check our roof properties. I'm going to change that to be a warm roof timber. I'm going to choose pick walls with the overhang 300. Select the chain of walls. If I select all these lines, at the moment they're all defining the slope and they're defining it to be at 30 degrees. I'm going to change that to 45. I'm also going to select these end walls here, and at the moment these would be hipped. I'm going to change this to be a gable end. If we finish the roof, you can see we've got our roof plan like so. Move into our 3D view. I'm going to keep our shadows on. Again, I'm going to press the tab button to select all the walls there. I'm going to attach those to our roof. I'm just going to cycle around and there we have our finished concept model where we've created ground floor plans, first floor plans, a roof plan and even a 3D view. This brings to an end the first video in CAD Point's architectural residential workflow series where we have looked at creating the concept model. In our next video we'll look at fleshing out the model.